All right, folks, pitching ace idiot, we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 Far Future. We are heading on to day 22 where we are in the last stand where we got to plan our defense for the zombies. Now, you're going to have some gargantuans, you're going to have some football helmets, you're going to have quite a lot of zombies coming at you. This is actually pretty darn difficult, uh, but all you really need for this is the laser beam, the invisible wall, and the cherry bomb. Aside from that, you really don't need anything else. Uh, you can you can get the uh, chili bean as well and the EM peach uh, just for some extra help. Uh, but honestly, that's that's really all you need. And you know why this is so great? Is because just planting the laser beams and the invisible walls will give you so much more uh, sun to utilize throughout the whole level. Uh, the other thing that you can do is in the last wave, once you've finally gotten rid of a row, you can actually just finish off that row by uh, just erasing some, of, by using the shovel to get rid of some of your plants to get even more sun to use maybe, you know, a cherry bomb if you absolutely need to. So as you can see right now, um, you're going to be getting the cone heads. The cone heads are going to basically be, gonna be pretty easily taken care of. Uh, especially here in the, this beginning part. Um, you'll notice in that one lane that, uh, you know, the bucket heads are going to become a little bit of a problem. Uh, especially because of that, I use a cherry bomb. Again, we have about, like, you know, 900 sun, 875 to actually use. So, it's not something that you really need. Now, that bottom lane is always going to have a whole bunch of bucket heads coming up. My suggestion is to basically wait till he's eaten through your invisible wall and then use a plant food on him. So wait for it, wait for it, and then basically use it. Not only is it going to allow you to take out that whole row, but it's also going to give you an extra shield. Now again, see that middle row? That You're going to basically give them an extra added support, and that's going to be great. Now that top row is going to become a little bit of a problem, uh, just because those guys cannot just be taken out with one laser beam. That's why I use the cherry bomb. If you use a cherry bomb and then use a uh, plant food, you can easily take them out. And that row with basically all the football heads, you are going to basically want to take them out as well. And the great thing about taking them out is that you also give yourself another added row with the invisible walls. So you'll know that with the gargantuan up there, it's again going to be pretty problematic, but we can easily take him out using what is an amazing, you know, and a cherry bomb easily takes him out. Now, what I did here was, because we have no more plant food to use, you can basically put that bean at the very, very back. Now, you'll notice here again, this is the very final wave, so you just got to be able to take these guys out. That top row is going to be really easily done. Same with the middle row. Uh, use the EM Peach to kind of get rid of the other guy. Also use the Chili Bean, because again, I have, more, I have more sun. I might as well use it. Uh, and that basically gets rid of all of the rows aside from the very bottom one. So you can wait for him to take out. I was going to wait for her to take him out, but then I realized, hey, you know, he's doing pretty good damage to our guys, so why not just remove something? So after a little bit, you'll see, again, if you got any of the rows g gone, you might as well use the shovel to get rid of all of the other stuff. And by getting rid of the other stuff, you get sun. So there you go. Get rid of two things, automatically get enough sun to plant a cherry bomb, take them out. So that's going to be kind of the strategy for this. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. This has been Pitching Ace 88, over and out.